Greetings and hallucinations, ladies and lads. I am Chancellor of the Harmonious Frequencies of the Mighty Empire of Onion, and this is Rim World. Things are going surprisingly decent for us so far. Um, we've survived a couple of outnumbered battles where I only had two folks at home and uh, against five enemies. We were lucky enough to survive with minimal injuries, so that's definitely something to be excited about, I would say. You can tell by the sound of my voice that I am absolutely ecstatic and that I can barely contain my enthusiasm for the way that things have gone so far. Yep, we only have one male boar, a uh, juvenile, so I don't know if he's old enough to uh, do the deed to make more boars, but for right now we're standing pretty solid as far as animals go. Um, if I saw correctly, yeah, we have had an ostrich lay an egg, so that's positive. Egg progress is 62%. Who was that? Ostrich 3? So Ostrich 2's egg progress is 41%. It's possible, too, that if they lay the eggs, uh, the hungry boars with their indiscriminate eating habits would likely go and devour one. Certain instances might suggest that they would. Okay, we still need three more bedrooms. We... Yeah, we have the granite blocks to build another one. Do I want to make it all along here and square and beautiful? I think so. Go about three spaces out. I think it's like this, or something similar. Yeah, it looks about right. Okay, so now the question is though, uh, where do we want the door? If we put the door here, we'd be able to kind of see out this direction uh, in case somebody's attacking. We could also do that from here, we could see both directions uh, for the time being. So that might give us the best coverage, but we have been attacked from this direction a couple of times. And so being able to see out uh, this way and this way would be pretty good. A bit of a coin toss. I think this side is going to win though. Because we get the most visibility from that position. So I think that's I think that's the way we're going to go. Alright, let's check out the power situation. Yep, we've had a short right there. Oops, I didn't actually click on the power conduit button. Koth, you're right inside, so go ahead and extinguish this fire. Oh, do you firefight? I feel like you do. And Itamu should be going up there as well. I don't want my medicine to burn up completely. Okay. All is well that ends well, they say. Are you guys both going to rest? Resting, resting. Hubbard is meditating. Carol is hunting a gazelle. Can you build this, please? So that we can get some electricity back into the system. Let's turn those off for right now. Temperature outside is about 80. It's 85 inside here. I need to consider installing a cooler for this room. Uh, because the prisoners don't need to be getting super upset. Male Boomerat, you have just eaten your last heel root, my friend. I use the term friend very loosely and ironically. In actual fact. You are not my friend. Die! Die, you fool! Get him! Get him, Harold! He's eating our medicine! Kill him! 
He's invulnerable now. He's eaten all of the heal root, and now he cannot die. Oh, here we go. Boom. It was a good job killing him on the sand, too, because the fire doesn't really spread on sand. Okay, we have enough um, animal beds now to satisfy our animals' needs. The only problem is we don't have any room in our stockpile for uh, clothes and stuff. Do these deteriorate from being unroofed? Steel? Uh, raw resources, probably. Steel. Oh, man. Switch that off. Oh, any clips? That's okay. Oh, it's such a pain when the batteries go dead because the wind power is so intermittent. Anna the Taster has gone berserk. Koth, what are you doing? Repairing the door? Resting? Okay. That's fine. Squires, where are you at? Training ostrich too? Get him to equip his club again. Okay. Oh, Koth was going to take care of it, but that's fine. She shouldn't be dying or anything. And in fact, she shouldn't be getting medicine. What? Oh, there's got to be room here, though. Right? There's room for one medicine over here? Are you actually kidding me right now? You're gonna make me make a whole nother spot? That's okay, because it was gonna fill up eventually anyway. Let's make this whole area around this thing medicine storage. Because what in the heck else are we gonna use it for? Don't answer that. And don't ask me, because I don't know. Koth is doing the business, though, getting that next room up, which is nice. Unfortunately, that's negative one beauty for all of these rooms right now, because of no floor. I really need to get the more floor materials down. Alright, yeah, let's check now. Yeah, it's not deteriorating due to unroofed. So it's fine to put all of my steel over here with the bricks. Oh no, Hubbard! No! Hubbard! There's no one around to save you either. Oh, it's terrible. Koth just went to sleep. Move in to her rescue, folks. You can do it, Hubbard. Take it down. I have faith in you. Ah! Down. gonna get in pretty close to us. Is it coming around this side too? That's a little inconvenient for me. It's fine though. It will be fine. Let's actually run back a little ways. Can we outrun it? We can. Well, Harold can. Itamu is not doing so hot. Nice. Okay. 
go ahead and rescue Hubbard then. Errol, how long does it take you to eat? Almost as long as it takes me. Go ahead and haul the shotgun back so that we don't have to worry about it later on. How are our alpacas doing? Do we have two now? We do. Okay. That's probably plenty then. I was thinking about trying to... I almost said hire that other one. Um, but yeah. 18% full growth. 45 for him. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh. Allergies are not the most fun thing to have. My throat has been scratchy all day. Hubbard is capable of walking, but Aimu is still going to carry her to safety. Okay. And she needs treated pretty badly. Does she have any medicine skill? Two. We are able to use some medicines though, so that's good. Koth just woke up though. Maybe I should have him treat her. I guess if she gets uh, an infection, I'll have him treat that. Otherwise, we should be good. Hubbard, did you get... No, you didn't get totally treated yet. I figured so. Alright, tend to yourself then. Okay, we've gotten another room here. This is just a normal bed. Poor, even? That's pathetic. Okay. What? Are you kidding me, Harold? She was trying to shoot at the boomalope and she shot the rhinoceros by accident. Oh, Harold. Shot him in the body and the heart. I didn't... She shot him three times? That's insane. Is there any possibility that you're going to be able to run away? Oh, Carol, why? Can you please get away from him? <clears throat> Hurry! Oh. Okay, Squires. You're in big trouble, buddy. He's got his knife, but I'm not confident in that. Koth, where are you going? Really, you're gonna feed her a meal? Really, Koth? You think that's the priority? Squires and his herd of wild hogs. It's hilarious. I love it. Alright, Koth, come in here. Squires, move out of the way so that you don't get shot a dozen times. Except Koth can't hit anything. Alright, now we go kill it before it kills our all of our hogs. Oh, but Koth is gonna shoot Squires now. Yep, one hog down. Nice. Okay, Koth, come and save Harold. Where did she go? Oh, she's gone forever! Oh, no, there's, there she is. Hubbard is already on the way. Is she even closer, though? Hubbard, you're miles away. Cannot rescue. Problem solved. Squire is going to try to take some potatoes. Go ahead and... Oh, nope. We're just going to ignore those two pistol gunshot wounds. 
um, to the wild boar. I saw that um, rhinoceros pull out a gun there at the end. He was afraid for his life and decided to try to kill us. Sowing hay grass, that really needs to be done though. And so I don't have anybody to come grab her gun right now. That's fine. Maybe one of the boars will take care of it. Oh man. Death in seven hours? Hopefully Squires can take care of all of that. Yeah, I figured he would take care of the neck and head wounds first. And then he'll probably pin to these and then this one. That's good. I like that they prioritize the most dangerous wounds first. It's excellent. Alright, so let's speed it up a little bit. He's got some other boars to tend to also. I don't know where they are though. Yeah, just ignore those gunshot pistols. Okay, Goth is taking care of Harold, who didn't end up getting too badly beaten. Cracks and bruises, it's nothing. Wires is rescuing Wild Boar 4. O is still. All right. Go ahead and haul this gun back. We do need meals cooked, but it's okay for right now. Colonist needs... Hubbard, why did you go down? Oh, good grief. Koth, where are you at? Rescuing Hubbard? Okay. Hubbard, you silly fool. Finish this bed, Goth. There we go. Carson Noma. Are you kidding me? Oh. All right, she's no longer a viable candidate for. I mean, the depressive pyromaniac originally had me worried, but now she's got cirrhosis of the liver and carcinoma in her liver. She's in 49% of withdrawals. She's not even going to be a very worthwhile uh, sale when we have to get rid of her. Hubbard is back to walking again. It's hilarious. Oh! How did you take that bed? It's a good one though. That's That's positive. Superior, good, superior. So these two normal beds are our lowest quality right now. How many woods do we have? Five. How close are these to growing? Half. Alright. Well, I don't want to destroy all of the woods around. I do like trees. Let's see what that gets us. Wow, 5,891 hay grass. I don't think we really need to plant much more hay, that's for sure. Let's disallow sowing for a while. I'm not even sure how it got to be devoured so quickly. Maybe it was all harvested and they put in put it in here or something. I don't know. But that's... Yeah, there's no way that the animals can eat all that before it spoils. We're up to 190 on the... Stones again. Is he running... Yeah, he is running to go get granite, isn't he? Because we have so many of other types of blocks. 
365. 449 slate. Okay. That's enough to make a floor. We go slate tile for whoever's room this is. We only have six marble? I thought we brought back more than that, but that must be... that must be it. Alright, and I think uh, sandstone plant pots would be fine, because I can't figure anything else that I want to make out of sandstone. Fifteen apiece, that's pretty expensive, but I'll throw them in the prison too. We should probably have some around um, inside this area, like here. Over here, maybe, by the doors. Opposites, that's acceptable. That'll work for me. Do we even have enough stone for that, though? 225, that's 3, 4, 90, 120. 150, 180, 195. So we don't have enough to quadruple up on all of these rooms. I'll just have to wait until maybe he cuts some more. But that's okay. Man. What a mess. Did we butcher that rhino? It looks like we have. Are all the animals cared for? It seems like it. Is anyone dead? Wild Boar 4? Still having a hard time? Have you been permanently injured? No. You will be fine. That's good. Encouraging. Squires tamed another ostrich? I forgot that we even had another ostrich out there that was set to be tamed. But that's fine. It's a female as well, so we've got three of them that could potentially be laying eggs. We only have one egg so far, so that's positive. I guess we don't have anywhere set for psychoid leaves to go. It would be perfect for in here. Yeah, all of the plant matter can go in there, that's fine. Um, female. But that's not any fun. And dromedary leathers. It's nice. I will accept that. Ah, uh, Squires is getting some more heel root down. That's fantastic. Ho and Hubbard are working on the other veggies. So good. Oh. I haven't had to worry about food except maybe once this entire series. That's... It's so relieving. Such a wonderful feeling. Well, I think on that note, I am going to leave off this episode. It's gone pretty well. Um, if you want to catch the next one, be sure to subscribe. If you'd like to support my channel, you can do so through the Patreon link down in the video description. And feel free to check out any of my other videos or playlists that you might be interested in. I thank you so much for any time that you spend on my channel. And I hope blessings of wisdom and peace on all of you. Farewell.